Welcome to clickmyproject.com. Now let me discuss about automated feature extraction for early direction of diabetic retinopathy in fundus images. Here we address the direction of hammer hodges and microneurism in color fundus images. In pre-processing we separate the color region. The, color, the green color panel was used in the analysis since it showed the best contrast between the vessels and the background retina. The gray level were normalized by switching the images contrast to the cover the fill pixel dynamic range. After pre-processing the image will pass to the feature extraction. In feature extraction here we are using the GLCM. The gray level co-occurrence matrix is image analysis technique. It will use to derive the statistical information about energy entropy, dissimilarity, contrast, inverse difference. These feature values will be extracted in GLCM. After extracting the feature, the feature values will provide to the classifier. Here, SPM classifier will be used. The SPM classifier will be classified the features. Finally, it will predict about the result, whether it is hammer hodges or microneurism. Here we segment the microneurism and hammer hodges in retinal images. It will be localized by the threshold manner. After segmenting the result, we map the segmented result to the original image. This is the flow of our project. It has the two stages. First one is the training stage, second one is the testing stage. In training stage, here we have to provide a whole database retinal images. The database images is passed to the pre-processing stage. In pre-processing here we are separating the color channels such as red, green and blue. The green color plan was used in the analysis since it shows the best contrast between the vessels and the background retina. The gray levels were normalized by stretching the image contrast to the cover the full pixel dynamic range. The extracted color plan was passed to the GLC feature extraction. The gray level co-occurrence matrix image analysis technique. It is used to derive the several statistical information by the use of different formulas such as energy, entropy, dissimilarity, contrast, inverse difference. These type of feature values is extracted by the use of GLCM. The extracted feature values is part of the classification. In classification, here we are using the cascade neural network. It is the supervised classifier. It is used to predict about the result of feature such as hammer hodges and microneurism. In testing stage, here we have to provide our test images. The test images pass through the pre-processing. Here the color channels are separated. The separated green plan is passed through the gel same feature extraction. Here the feature values is extracted for the pre-processed images. The finally extracted feature is passed through the classification. The trying to classify will predict about the result as hammer hodges or microneurism. Now let's see the execution part. Here I am having written my data file. It is the main file. Select this file, right click, run the file. The guide window will be open. This is the guide design of our project. Here we have to provide our input image. In data set, totally I am having six images. First three images are hammer hodges and the second three is the microneurism. Now I am providing a microneurism image. The provided input image is displayed on the first axis. In pre-processing here we are separating the color channels such as red, green and blue. The separated color channel, green channel is displayed in the third axis and the gray image of the provided input image is displayed in the second axis. In feature extraction here we are using the GLCM which is used to derive the statistical information. The corresponding feature values is displayed in the first table. Here the feature values is passed to the classification. Here we are using the cascade neural network. It will try and about the features to predict about the result. Here we are having the result as microneurism. Direction. The corresponding the this is part is displayed here. Now suppose we are providing hammer houses images means the corresponding input image is displayed in the first axis. 
this are the green image this is the green channel image the extracted feature values is displayed in the table here we are will the classifier will predict about the result as hammer arches here we are segmenting the defected place from the original image it is segmented by the threshold manner in analysis here we are providing the confusion matrix it will provide the 100% result if there is any misclassification in our classifier means this values will be reduced this is the performance graph of our uh, graph of our classifier this is the sensitivity and the specificity value of provided input image here our method of detecting the hammer hodges and the micronorism by the use of neural network and it will localize the defected place in a better manner thank you